Hey, it's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. Today I have with me two of my toy mods that are clocks from the Toy Story films. The one on my right here is Sid's alarm clock. You might recognize him from the first film. This clock actually does work. I do not have it turned on right now. I don't think there's a battery in it, but it actually is a working alarm clock that I started with and I painted it the appropriate colors and took a uh, a doll arm that I had to attach here and a screw and washer here so that it would actually stand. Um, unfortunately, I had some difficulties on the Toy Story of Terror clock. This is Old Timer from Toy Story of Terror and I'll show him up close. I'm not sure exactly what happened here, but in addition to one of his eyebrows starting to fall off, I've had some sort of something appear wet underneath here so I've got to strip him down, open him up, strip him down, and probably remake him before I add his arms in. So I'm super disappointed that that happened. And now this clock was made from an originally working alarm clock. Unfortunately because I'm using foam inside of here the arrows don't really turn anymore but these are actual googly eyes so his eyes move around and I think that makes him super cute as a toy and of course I need to put his arms. I was gonna <laughs> glue in some extra Mr. Potato Head arms that I have so that way I don't have to actually disassemble any toys to do this. This arm was from an already pretty badly broken baby doll so I didn't really mind using her arm for that. So let me know what you guys think and if you guys have seen Toy Story and Toy Story of Terror. Um, any suggestions or thoughts on what happened with my old timer or anything else that you want to put in the comments. As always, like, subscribe, share your favorite videos, and join us next time. See you soon. Bye.